Hello. Our devotion for today is entitled, A Special Guest. And it is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 1 through 10. But Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. And there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. And he was seeking to see who Jesus was. But on account of the crowd, he could not because he was so small of stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see Jesus, for he was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried and came down and received Jesus joyfully. And when they saw it, they all grumbled. He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. In our text for today, in verse 5, Jesus said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. Uh, this was a development that Zacchaeus couldn't have possibly have imagined. He came to see Jesus. He was curious, as were so many others. Maybe he had a specific reason. A rumor had it that this Jesus was a friend to tax collectors and to sinners. And Zacchaeus was both. He belonged to the kind of people who were despised more than most, as often as is the case still today. He was a Jew, but a Jew who cooperated with the occupational government, aiding the Romans by pressuring his own people into paying taxes. Zacchaeus made good money and was promoted to chief tax collector. He owned a luxurious home and earned a large income. But for some reason, he was banned from the synagogue. Maybe he still had a yearning for God at the bottom of his heart. And then it happened. Jesus stopped right under the tree that Zacchaeus has, had climbed for a better view. And he looked up at Zacchaeus as if it was his only intention to meet Zacchaeus on that day. But later on in the evening, Jesus said that the Son of Man had come to save those who were lost. But what about Zacchaeus? On that day, he didn't get any sermons. However, Jesus extended to him compassion and joy. This would change Zacchaeus' life. He said, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will restore it fourfold. From that day, something new existed in that luxurious home in Jericho. For Jesus said, Today, salvation has come to this house. Not because of what Zacchaeus did. Not because he was willing to give back some of the money. But since he was a son of Abraham, since he trusted and believed, 
Jesus offered to him compassion, joy, eternal life. Let us pray. Lord, today may we ask you to be a guest in our homes. We believe we can. You visited Zacchaeus because he was a son of Abraham. We are also baptized by your hand. You decided that long ago. Since you came to us on that day, we know that you won't refuse us now. Therefore, we ask that you come with your mercy and happiness, and that you allow it to fill our hearts and our homes. Come, Lord, and fill our days with compassion and joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's blessings. I'll see you next time.